Hi, this video is about the ballet drill and how to execute it properly and how you can use it to improve your kick in freestyle swimming. So let's have a little bit of a look at what's going on. Now pay attention to the lady on the right here in the red suit. So this is the most effective demonstration of it. The idea of this exercise is that you can get a lot of kicking practice by being able to breathe normally uh, and without having to worry about flotation and balance in the water. It's just about isolating your leg kick. To execute it, you're looking to do a sort of marching action, okay, or a scissors action with your legs, using your glutes to squeeze your glutes, to pull your leg backwards and your hamstrings as well, and then propelling them forward in that marching action. Now you want to try and keep it nice and tall, so you're lifting your legs up, you're pointing your toes as much as possible, trying to get every inch of height that you can out of it. And at the back of the stroke, as we get to there, we've got that little bit of flexion in the knee just to allow the uh, leg coming through to then whip through and flick the toes through at the end. Now we can see from her example that she's got toe pointed toes all the time, really pointed toes. If you don't point your toes when you kick, they dig into the water and they reduce the buoyancy or the pressure you've got on the water and therefore your legs will sink lower in the water. Also, if you don't kick from the hips and from the glutes, then your knees will project further forward. And again, the same thing will happen. You haven't got the pressure on the water and your hips sink in the water and your feet sink even further in the water. So it's uh, a little bit lower and it's nowhere near as effective. In order to be able to get the balance that she's got here, you need to do a couple of things before you set yourselves up. One is to engage your core, pull your belly button towards your spine. This, and, well, this will have the effect of helping you to rotate your hips backwards so that you flatten your lower back and it means that you're then, your legs will be, then be able to sit directly underneath your shoulders in the middle of the stroke. Now if we watch here, we can see how, how that straight line extending through her shoulders, through her hips, out through her feet, she's either side of that perfect example of, of how to do it. Now, in, for me, myself personally, I probably wouldn't kick this wide. You're never going to kick that wide in your full stroke. It's a good exercise just to get started, but quickly then shorten that kick down. In the full stroke, and um, when we're practicing this uh, extensively, you don't really want to be able to see your leg coming much further than this in front of you. Now, if she were to be able to look down, or when you're doing this, if you look down, you shouldn't see anything more than maybe your fins, if you've got fins on when you're doing it, um, or the tips of your toes extending in front of you. If you can see your knees, you're doing it wrong. The other thing to uh, factor in on this is the alignment from the center. So there is a nice straight line straight down the middle of her. So she's nice and balanced. She's holding onto the wall and that line is straight down here, not leaning into the wall, pushing away from the wall, um, nice and relaxed. You can also do this drill with a kickboard. Um, hold onto the kickboard across your chest, move yourself out into a bit of space, obviously with deep enough water and do the same thing. We can then introduce a little bit of rotation to this uh, that we would want to try and do and get that initiation phase of rotation into the, uh, into the kicking action where you start to twist your hips first and you gradually rotate yourself around one way and then using your hips you bring yourself back around the other way. Uh, and that will help to then move on to more advanced drills such as corkscrew or corpse. Hope you've enjoyed that, hope you found it useful. See you in the next one.